And now, back to the show. Hey, show's starting back up. Come in. I miss anything? No, it just started. Okay, cool. What? Where are you going? I need to finish putting towels away. But you're gonna miss it. Okay, then can you pause it please? No, because if I pause it, sometimes it takes a while for the stream to start back up, or it starts me at the beginning of the show, in which case then I have to fast forward through, but still rewatch all of the ads, which I think is their whole ploy. You just don't like ads. Maybe, but that doesn't mean it's not the ads fault too. Hmm. Hey TV, is it the ads fault that sometimes the stream gets messed up? Hello, to your question, the short answer would be yes. Possibly. Oh, really? Again, possibly. It may depend on how the ads are inserted. There are different ways. Yes, two primarily. Client-side ad insertion and server-side ad insertion. With client-side ad insertion, each time there's a commercial break, the streaming service has to ask for an ad to show and wait until one is ready and available to be inserted by the video player. You mean as if it's going to load a new video to play? Exactly. Well done. And as a result, there can be a delay. By contrast with server-side ad insertion, the ads are requested when the video is selected to be viewed and are then inserted before the video starts to play. As a result, the stream can seamlessly transition from a show into the commercial break without needing to buffer to load the ads. Okay, so client-side ad insertion would be like, oh, I don't know, someone putting away towels one stack at a time. Whereas server-side ad insertion would be like that person putting all the towels in a single laundry basket and taking them together so that people can watch their show uninterrupted. Is that right? That is a very specific analogy, but yes. Uh, Fine, you do laundry. What the f***?